from this perspective. Excellent questions from TNEC. Congratulations. Uh, let me take the second question first because it's very Pakistan oriented. And on the second, on the first question, we should have uh, a joint response. Uh, the question of madrasas in Pakistan has come up repeatedly. The problem is that Pakistan is a developing country, which means that it does not have enough resources to be a developed country with proper schooling and proper universities, etc. Even though about a fair percentage of the gross domestic product is devoted to education, it is not enough. And the result is that there is a gap in education. And that gap has been met traditionally. This has nothing to do with terrorism. It has nothing to do with recent times. That gap has been met traditionally uh, by madrasas, which are cottage industry schools under a tree in which the local uh, educated village elder teaches the children of the village. It is a traditional system. It exists throughout the Muslim world. Uh, the question is not that Pakistan is unwilling to take on terrorists. That's not the question at all. The question is that Pakistan is a developing country and it has to depend on madrasas to fill the gap in primary education between what the government can provide and what the villages can provide for themselves. And to that, there is no solution. Madrasas will continue. What we have tried to do is to add on to the curriculum of the madrasas to say that they cannot just be teaching the Quran, but they should also be teaching science and mathematics and reading and writing. And that concept of a comprehensive curriculum for madrasas requires funding. And this is a gigantic project undertaken jointly between the United States and Pakistan in which funding is being provided for the expansion of the curriculum in the thousands of madrasas across the country. Those madrasas cannot be banned. They cannot be eliminated. They perform an extremely useful function. The whole secret is in expanding the curriculum of those madrasas with the help of friends abroad because a lot of funding is called for. On the first question, we have a problem in Afghanistan. We have a problem in Pakistan. We also have a problem in Iran and a growing problem in Russia. Shouldn't we be moving towards a global conference in which we all sit together in order to find if there is a consensus situation to the, to the city. After all, there are still one and a half million Afghan refugees in Pakistan, and there are about the same number of Afghan refugees in Iran. And so a solution, if it has to be found in this region, which is Afghanistan, Pakistan, that solution has to bring in Iran, and therefore has to bring in Russia also. After all, many of the problems of Afghanistan started because of Russia. Russia occupied Afghanistan for 10 years more or more, killed one and a half million Afghans, displaced five million Afghans, planted more than 10 million landmines in the country, and then disappeared without paying a single dollar in reparations by saying, oh, I've changed my name. I'm no longer Soviet Union. My now new name is Russia. And they got away with the biggest criminal act of the century. And so shouldn't we be holding them responsible in a global conference to resolve this problem? Uh, thank you. Yes, uh, problem in Afghanistan, uh, which we have, uh, we are facing uh, terrorism, narcotic, administration. It is not just Afghan problem. It's a regional and international problem. It should, uh, the all international community in particular the region, they have responsibilities to deal with this problem, to solve it. And uh, it is uh, the government of Afghanistan has uh, uh, 
uh, tried and has a very, very good relationship with all its neighbors in Pakistan and Iran and Central Asia and, and, and China and Russia. And we are encouraging them all the time for helping us to solve this problem in Afghanistan because Afghanistan used to be a bridge between uh, civilization. It, it, is, it is right now as a land bridge and the region between uh, Central Asia, Europe, and South Asia, and it can play a great role uh, for, for uh, having a better region, a developed, prosperous region economically. And Afghanistan is a member of the Economic Cooperation Organization. Afghanistan is a member of the SARC organization. We are actively involved in the region to be, to be in the, and, and, and close contact and cooperation with the region at first. The second, uh, uh, regarding the uh, elect President Obama's uh, suggestion that uh, in order to solve the problem in Afghanistan, they should bring on the board uh, all regional countries in the, uh, in the Russia and the Iran, Pakistan. Uh, that is, that is, uh, we, we, it is not a, a, a new idea, and all the time we asked all those countries through Shanghai organization. We, uh, we were in touch with Russia, with Central Asia, through. And, uh, and uh, uh, so, so Afghanistan, Afghanistan is, is, is uh, uh, it has a very good relationship with Iran besides the uh, uh, United States presence in, uh, in, in Afghanistan. We, we uh, uh, guarantee to, to Iran, to our neighbor, that uh, whatever relationship we have with the United States, it will not affect our relationship with Iran. So Af Afghanistan will not be a land uh, uh, for attack by any other countries against Iran or any other neighboring countries. So we have, we enjoy this relationship and it is, we welcome, we welcome any suggestion, any suggestion which will lead to solve the problem of Afghanistan by engaging any countries, in particular Iran, Pakistan, Russia, India, China, all those countries. And we are more than open, we welcome any suggestion and we'll be more than happy to work in particular with our neighbors in order collectively, collectively to address this problem, to, 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 to solve this problem. And uh, uh, taking this opportunity, I would like to thank the people of Pakistan and Iran for hosting so long the <coughs> refugees in Iran and Pakistan. And uh, it is uh, the international community paying little, at, little at, uh, attention on that, but the refugee, it's another challenge for Afghanistan because we have close to four million refugees in Iran and Pakistan and other parts of the world. And a couple of days ago, we had an international conference on how, how to bring refugees back to Afghanistan, how to reintegrate uh, refugees to, into Afghanistan. And uh, we, uh, we, we will continue that. And I will, I will, I will, uh, I will uh, re uh, repeat that those countries who had role for destroying Afghanistan they should not, they should not uh, uh, avoid their, their responsibility by announcing by bankruptcy that uh, I'm not uh, anymore Soviet Union, but they should, they should have, they should, they should have their uh, responsibility, at least moral responsibility to come forward to help Afghanistan to get out from the situation. Thank you. I think we've got a couple of minutes left. If there's any one question from any university which is just has to be asked, please go ahead, and if not, I will give the floor back to Provost Scorza. Uh, Ambassador uh, Kamal, I, 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 Makar High School would like to take one. Yeah, okay, go ahead. No question? One question. Um, well, uh, I'd like to know what is the, as you are a mode of conveyance of the point of view of the uh, uh, Afghan people, um, Ambassador Ayub, I was wondering what the point of view of the uh, Afghan people is regarding uh, the American presence and if they could have something changed about the terms and conditions uh, thereof, if they, um, what, would, what would they be? I would like to ask a supplementary to that. Oh. We, in Iraq, mm -hmm. we have a problem and they are saying, get out of Iraq. Mm -hmm. uh, President Obama said this. Mm -hmm. President Bush said, no, uh, stay on. And uh, Mr. McCain said 100 years. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, Iraq has itself mm -hmm. apparently put a deadline. Mm -hmm. 
and so the exp the adventure in Iraq is going to come to an end. Mm -hmm. Is the adventure in Afghanistan going to come to an end also? Because I have a feeling that Afghanistan, for a 